God commands Jonah to go to Nineveh and warn the people of their wickedness. Instead of heading to Nineveh, Jonah flees to Joppa and boards a ship bound for Tarshish. A fierce storm hits the sea, threatening to break the ship. Sailors panic, believing the gods are angry. Realizing the storm is for him, Jonah confesses to the sailors that he is running from God. To calm the storm, the sailors reluctantly throw Jonah overboard. A giant fish, sent by God, swallows Jonah. Inside the fish, Jonah prays to God for salvation. Jonah promises to follow God's command if he is delivered. After three days, the fish vomits Jonah onto dry land. Renewed, Jonah approaches the immense gates of Nineveh. Jonah walks through Nineveh, declaring God's message to the people. The people of Nineveh believe Jonah and began to fast and wear sackcloth and repentance. Even the king of Nineveh heeds Jonah's warning and decrees a city-wide fast. God sees their repentance and decides to spare the city. Jonah is angry and upset that God forgave Nineveh. Jonah builds a shelter outside the city and waits to see what will happen. A plant that provided Jonah shade withers, adding to his despair. God teaches Jonah a lesson about mercy through the withered plant. Jonah comes to understand God's compassion is for all creation. Nineveh thrives under God's mercy, a testament to his love and patience. The story of Jonah teaches us about the transformative power of repentance and God's boundless mercy. It reminds us that no one is beyond redemption and we must embrace compassion and obedience as God's love extends to all of creation.